Hi, I am Victor Grawl, so today I am going to explain the family tree of Albert Einstein, who is widely held to be one of the greatest and most influential scientists of all time. Einstein's great-great-great-great-grandfather, Jacob Weil, was his oldest recorded relative. Born in the late 17th century, and the family continues to this day. Okay, so the word Einstein is either a German habitational surname from various places named with a middle high German derivative of the verb Einsteinen, which means to enclose or surround with stone, or else an ornamental name using the ending Stein, which means stone. Okay, so now let's move to the paternal grandfather of Albert Einstein. Abraham Einstein married to Helena Moose and had seven children and the fourth child was Hermann Einstein, who was the father of Albert Einstein. In 1880, Hermann and his brother Jacob founded Electrotechnischer Fabrik J. Einstein and Psi Company in Munich, a company that manufactured electrical equipment based on direct current. In 1885, they won the contract that provided DC lights to illuminate the Oktoberfest for the first time. In 1893, the Einstein brothers lost a bid on a contract for the electrification of Munich to Schuchert. Hermann and Jacob's small company lacked the capital to convert their equipment over from the direct current DC standard to the more efficient alternating current standard being used by Schuchert. Their fortunes took a downward turn from there. They were forced to sell their Munich factory, and in search of business, the two brothers moved their company to Pavia in Italy in 1894. Due to poor business, Hermann and Jacob had to abandon their factory in 1896. Though Hermann had lost most of their money, he founded another electrical engineering company in Milan, this time without his brother. He was supported financially by his cousin Rudolf Einstein in this venture, and this time business was better. He had married a woman named Pauline Koch, and together this couple had two children. The younger child was Maria Einstein and the eldest child was Albert Einstein, who is protagonist of the play, was born in 1879, who is widely regarded to be one of the greatest and most influential scientists of all time. Best known for developing the theory of relativity, Einstein also made important contributions to quantum mechanics, and was thus a central figure in the revolutionary reshaping of the scientific understanding of nature that modern physics accomplished in the first decades of the 20th century. His mass energy equivalence formula E equals mc square, which arises from relativity theory, has been called the world's most famous equation. He received the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics for his services to theoretical physics, and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect, a pivotal step in the development of quantum theory. His work is also known for its influence on the philosophy of science. In a 1999 poll of 130 leading physicists worldwide by the British journal Physics World, Einstein was ranked the greatest physicist of all time. His intellectual achievements and originality have made the word Einstein broadly synonymous with genius. Okay, so now let's talk a bit about his personal life. From his early age, he was sent to Switzerland for study. In 1895, at the age of 16, Einstein sat the entrance examination for the Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich of Switzerland. He failed to reach the required standard in the general part of the test, but performed with distinction in physics and mathematics. On the advice of the Polytechnic's principal, he completed his secondary education at the Argovian Cantonal School, a gymnasium in Arau of Switzerland, graduating in 1896. In January 1896, with his father's approval, Einstein renounced his citizenship of the German Kingdom of Württemberg in order to avoid conscription into military service. The Matura, which means graduation for the successful completion of higher secondary schooling, awarded to him in the September of that year, acknowledged him to have performed well across most of the curriculum, allotting him a top grade of six for history, physics, algebra, geometry, and descriptive geometry. At 17, he enrolled in the four-year mathematics and physics teaching diploma program at the Federal Polytechnic School. The five other polytechnic school freshmen following the same course as Einstein included just one woman, Mileva Merik, a 20-year-old Serbian girl, whom Einstein would marry and together the couple had three children. The first child was a girl who was born a year before their marriage. Correspondence between Einstein and Merik discovered and published in 1987, 
revealed that in early 1902, while Merrick was visiting her parents in Novi Sad of Serbia, she gave birth to a daughter, Lizerl. When Merrick returned to Switzerland, it was without the child, whose fate is uncertain. A letter of Einstein's that he wrote in September 1903 suggests that the girl was either given up for adoption or died of scarlet fever in infancy. Einstein and Merrick married in January 1903. In 1904, their son Hans Albert was born in Bern of Switzerland. Their son Eduard was born in Zurich of Switzerland in 1910. In 1912, Einstein entered into a relationship with Elsa Lowenthal, who was both his first cousin on his mother's side and his second cousin on his father's side. When Merrick learned of his infidelity soon after moving to Berlin with him in April 1914, she returned to Zurich, taking Hans Albert and Edward with her. Einstein and Merrick were granted a divorce in 1919 on the grounds of having lived apart for five years. Einstein married Lowenthal in 1919. In 1935, she was diagnosed with heart and kidney problems. She died in 1936. After being widowed, Einstein was briefly in a relationship with Margarita Koninkova, thought by some to be a Russian spy. Her husband, the Russian sculptor Sergei Koninkov, created the bronze bust of Einstein at the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton. A volume of Einstein's letters released by Hebrew University of Jerusalem in 2006 added further that he was romantically involved with four more women. Following an episode of acute mental illness at about the age of 20, Einstein's son Edward was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He spent the remainder of his life either in the care of his mother or in temporary confinement in an asylum. After his mother's death, he was committed permanently to Bergholzli the Psychiatric University Hospital in Zurich. His second child, Hans Albert Einsteins, was Swiss-American engineer and educator. He was a long-time professor of hydraulic engineering at the University of California. He was widely recognized for his research on sediment transport. To honor his outstanding achievement in hydraulic engineering, the American Society of Civil Engineering established the, the Hans Albert Einstein Award in 1988, an annual award, given to those who have made significant contributions to the field, and only through him Albert Einstein's generation continued to live until today. Okay, now let's talk a bit about Albert Einstein's emigration to USA and political life. In February 1933, while on a visit to United States, Einstein knew he could not return to Germany with the rise to power of the Nazis under Germany's new chancellor, Adolf Hitler. In February and March 1933, the Gestapo repeatedly raided his family's apartment in Berlin. He and his wife Elsa returned to Europe in March, and during the trip, they learned that the German Reichstag had passed the Enabling Act on 23rd March, transforming Hitler's government into a de facto legal dictatorship, and that they would not be able to proceed to Berlin, where his home situated. Later on, they heard that their cottage had been raided by the Nazis and Einstein's personal sailboat confiscated. The Nazis later sold his boat and converted his cottage into a Hitler youth camp. In April 1933, Einstein discovered that the Hitler's government had passed laws bearing Jews from holding any official position, including teaching at universities. A month later, Einstein's works were among those targeted by the German Student Union in the Nazi book burning, with Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels proclaiming, Jewish intellectual is dead. One German magazine included him in a list of enemies of the German regime with the phase not yet hanged, offering a $5,000 on his head. Einstein was now without a permanent home, unsure where he would live and work, and equally worried about the fate of countless other scientists still in Germany. Aided by the Academic Assistance Council, founded in April 1933 by British liberal politician William Beveridge to help academics escape Nazi persecution, Einstein was able to leave Germany. Later, his British MP friend commander Oliver Locker Lampson invited him to stay near his Cromer home in a secluded wooden cabin on Rottenheath in the parish of Rotten of Norfolk County. If we talk about his political views, he was one of the founding member of the Germany Democratic Party, which was a liberal party. Later in his life, Einstein's political view was on favor of socialism and critical of capitalism, which he detailed in his essays such as Why Socialism. 
Israel was independent in 1948, and upon the death of its first president, Chaim Weizmann, in 1952, Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion offered Einstein the largely ceremonial position of president of Israel, but he could not accept it because he did not possess enough experience and did not have the natural aptitude to interact with people properly. Also advanced age, at that time he was 73 years old, and ill health and a lack of experience make him more discouragement. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video.